Hey guys, welcome back to Harmon Homestead. Today I am outside and it's a beautiful morning. It's going to be warm here today and we're going to plant some seeds. We've got some tomato seeds, several other things we're going to start today. So I want to show you our DIY seed starting mix. So what I've got here is a tote. Um, we use these for everything around here and they're very valuable and cheap at the same time. They can hold a lot and always have a lid with your tote. Anyways, I've got my seed starting mix in here that I used last year, and this is what's left over. You can see these little paper seed pods. They're biodegradable. Um, a lot of seeds I didn't want to use after I started them, or they just didn't germinate, so I threw everything back in here, so I've got a few random seeds. Well, anyways, this morning, I want to add to my mix. We've got um, seed starting trays here. This holds 40. And it also has a bottom to hold water for a water reservoir and a clear top dome to put over it until your seeds sprout. The dome will raise the heat for these seeds and get the seeds to germinate. So it'll be warmer inside of this bin when light hits it. Once your seeds germinate, you take the clear top off and let them get to the natural air. So what I'm gonna do is fill these up and they already have drainage holes in the bottom. If you can see there, that way the water will go right through. Now, last year I used uh, plastic bath cups. You can get those at any store. Do not use paper, they will break down um, and you cannot reuse those. Still gonna try to use the plastic cups this year, but I thought this would be a whole lot easier. And then we have some little grow bags to put these in once they get to transplant size. I just wanna try this this year and be a little bit different. I, my seed starting mix that I use, I don't know where I got the recipe. Um, some of it's on the back of these bags. You need some kind of dirt type medium. We use peat moss. You can use several other things. That's just what we're using. We have perlite. This is the little white pebbles that are foam that you see in your transplants that you buy. It just adds um, allowance for drainage in your seed starting mix and then we also have vermiculite so peat moss vermiculite and perlite are the three things that we use now there's recipes on the back of these bags all over online on how to do it you really just need to see what you've got and how much and and make it to where it looks right in here i think the recipe i used said a third of each there's no way that that's a third of each. I ended up using a lot more perlite than I thought I would. Um, and it's been hard to find lately. So thankfully last year, I went ahead and picked up a couple sacks. So I'm stocked up. Anytime you see seed supplies and you notice that goes off the shelf quick, go ahead and get several things. That way you'll be, of, of each item you want, that way you'll be stocked up for next year. You won't have to worry about it. So anyways, let me see my chickens back here. So the peat moss. This right here is compacted. I don't know how many seeds I have started using this and I haven't even used half a bag. It's it's like um, shavings you use for chicks. It's packed so tightly in here and it just, once you open it up, it's, it's more than you thought it would be. This is three cubic feet. So what I'm gonna do, Pour some of this in here. Don't go nuts with it because then you're going to have to turn around and add your other ingredients to it as well. Okay, that looks about right. And all it is is just, that's your soil, your base, right there. Look how beautiful that is. This is the cheapest way to go for us. Got my little tool here. I'm going to try to mix that up a little bit to what I've already got going here. Just really mix it up. And in this tote, I can just put the lid on it and it stays completely dry and it's ready for any time that I want to start seedlings. I didn't realize when I put all my little seedlings in here that didn't germinate, the seeds would be in here. And I started some peppers and I noticed that I had cucumbers and squash and everything else sprouting so don't do like I did and just throw everything back in here without getting the seeds out first. There's pumpkins, all sorts of stuff. 
Okay, so there's your peat moss. Now the vermiculite. I'll add just a little bit of this to it. It says it improves moisture and nutrient retention. Perlite. If that's in the camera or not, but you know what that is. You've always seen it, but probably didn't know the exact term for it. I like a lot of that because it keeps your seedlings moist when you water them. Okay, that's all we're gonna do. You just it, this is like an old timey recipe. You don't know exactly how much to say to put in it. Just a tad of this and a pinch of that. And this stuff will last you. You see how much I used out of each bag. I still got the whole thing here. This will be enough to probably do every seedling that I'm going to start this spring. And we do a lot. Okay. That looks about right to me. Like I said, I've got the little paper things in there. But look at that. That's your seed starter mix right there. Okay, so now we're gonna fill in our seed trays. Yeah, are y'all running around? You can leave the bottom up under it or you can take this little trays out. I guess I'll take it out. And I'm just going to scoop this into this tray and level it off. And that's it. Yeah. You want to plant some seedlings. And please check your last frost date and check your calendar because it's, it's here, guys. We're in zone 8A. And it's, we're, we're on the exact borderline where we live, 7B, 8A. We're technically 8A. Today, well, yesterday, Valentine's Day was the first day to start tomato seedlings. Easter is late this year. Easter is April the 17th, mid, late April. We never plant anything here until after Easter. There's always a cold snap right before Easter. But it's time to go ahead and get this stuff starting and ready. Depending on Easter every year, we may wait a little bit. Like last year, I started my tomato plants a little bit earlier than what the um, internet recommended because Easter was early last year, and I knew that warm weather was coming. So keep a watch on your Easter date if you live in Zone 8A, 7B, and go ahead and see what you can be starting. Yesterday was the first day for broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, tomatoes, and several other herbs. This year we're doing herbs. I tried last year. I didn't have success at all. And I tried it again just to see. And I already have thyme and oregano coming up inside. We also got a little portable greenhouse. Waiting to see how that does. I planted jalapeno seeds in it several weeks ago. I've not gotten any germination, but everything's warm inside of the little greenhouse. So We'll see how that goes. I'm not going to recommend it until I see my own results. So just fill up your tray. I'm going to leave the bottom in. Makes it sturdier. But this will save you instead of buying just bags and bags of seed mix. And I don't know, someone may have the exact recipe. There, There is no recipe that we use. It's just... You just need those three things and you'll know how it's supposed to look. There's really no way to screw it up. I'm just kind of rake, rake it over to make it level. If you got too much, that's fine. It'll just rake it off.
you do want it a little bit heaping because all this is going to shrink once you water it. I probably should have done that without the bottom in there, but it'd be okay. I'll waste one bit of that. Okay, so there's our seed starting trays. Now all we're gonna do is poke our little finger down in there, make a little hole. You can use a pencil if you don't wanna use your finger. Drop your seed in it, cover it up, water it, put the dome on it until they germinate, then take the dome off. That's, that's what we're doing. Um, you don't even need the dome. If you're doing this inside, it's warm enough really without a dome, just like the plastic cups. I didn't have a dome on each one of those, they just grew. But that's what we're doing this year, and let's plant some tomato seeds today. See you next time on Harmon Homestead.